Did you know that the Constitution specifically allows us to hire mercenaries? Can you imagine, just visualize this, some letters of mark and reprisal that would authorize a certain number, not everybody in the world, but a certain number of uh, drone operators in this country to send their drones into cartel territory, simply hover around for a little bit, find somebody who looks like they're up to no good, come down and just shoot them, and then disappear. Now let me ask you this. Suppose you were a cartel compound, you know, full of armed guards and whatnot, and a swarm of privately operated mercenary drones appear above, and they're all armed. How, how hard would it be for a, a squad of drones, each one operated by an operator, to you know, look through the view screen, line up people on the ground, and shoot them? Here's an idea that uh, I'm seeing a little bit in social media. Have you ever heard of a letter of mark and reprisal? Uh, I hope I'm spelling it right. Mark, in this case, is spelled M-A-R-Q-U-E. A A letter of mark? Is Is there a different pronunciation for that, like marque or something? I don't know. It's one of those things I've seen written a bunch of times, but I've never seen anybody say it out loud. But anyway, there's a provision in the Constitution um, that addresses this option, a letter of mark and reprisal, in which the United States can pay pay somebody to basically fight a war for us or go kill somebody. Um, So we can can, uh, basically get revenge or we can attack by hiring mercenaries, and the Constitution actually specifically allows it. <laughs> this, did you know that the Constitution specifically allows us to hire mercenaries? So here's my question. Do you see a day when private um, drone operators will be authorized by the government of the United States to fly their drones into cartel territory and start killing cartel members with the drones. Do you see a day when private um, drone operators will be authorized by the government of the United States to fly their drones into cartel territory and start killing cartel members? with the drones. Now, when I say private drones, I'm talking about, you know, the, the hobby-sized drones that you can put a gun on. It's not going to be, it's not going to take very long before there are militarized, uh, you know, bullet-shooting drones. You've seen them already on the internet, right? If you go to YouTube, you can Google somebody attached a gun to a drone. But nobody, I don't think anybody has yet built a drone that, that is built from scratch to fire a a gun. Uh, Maybe somebody's done that. I haven't seen it yet. But can you imagine, just visualize this, some letters of mark and reprisal that would authorize a certain number, not everybody in the world, but a certain number of uh, drone operators in this country to send their drones into cartel territory, simply hover around for a little bit, find somebody who looks like they're up to no good, come down and just shoot them and then disappear. Now, let me ask you this. Suppose you were a cartel compound, you know, full of armed guards and whatnot, and a swarm of privately operated mercenary drones appear above, and they're all armed. How, how hard would it be for a, a squad of drones, each one operated by an operator, to you know, look through the view screen, line up people on the ground, and shoot them. Somebody says already exists, and I would imagine that's true. So here's what it's easy for me to imagine. Remember, the big problem 
with going to war with the cartels is you can't get uh, the government of Mexico to ever agree. And you also don't really want to send our military down there. You don't want boots on the ground. Oh, somebody's telling me it's pronounced Marque, letter of Marque. All right, I guess we need to get a ruling on that so we have, have a different opinion on, on the pronunciation. Um, but I can easily imagine that the government of the United States, perhaps not making it public, perhaps it's not public. Maybe they just quietly authorize some private drone people to to put a little uh, you know drone uh, drone uh, firepower above the cartels seems to me that's coming because the beauty is that even if the drone gets shot down the cartel won't know who was operating it they will know that the US government perhaps was operating it but they won't really know 